Hello everyone. It's a new day and CoinMonk is here with another set of latest updates. So let's start today's bulletin with some major headlines of the day. FC Barcelona plans to create its own cryptocurrency. European Union will cut off seven Russian banks from SWIFT with ordinary Russians facing consequences. MIT sees Ethereum's proof of stake as game-changing tech. AMC Theaters to accept Shiba Inu and Dogecoin by March 19. So without any further ado, let's begin with a refresh feed. Starting with our first update. It's coming from a football club. Apparently, FC Barcelona's president has stated that the club wants to create its own cryptocurrency. In the crypto-friendly quarter where no one wants to feel left out due to advanced tech. Laporta also stated that the club will issue a variety of non-fungible tokens in the near future. Let's have a look at what they are up to. Interestingly, the club has rejected offers to partner with crypto enterprises because it wants to develop its own cryptocurrency and a metaverse. Looks like they are going to jump full fledgedly into this one. He explained that we want to create our own cryptocurrency and we have to do that ourselves. We are different because we survive financially from what we can generate through the industry of sport. He further said that we do not have big corporations or shareholders behind us. That forces us to be imaginative, innovative, brave, and to be a step ahead in many areas that surround the sports industry. The Porter stated that the club will issue a variety of non-fungible tokens in the near future. At this point, it is unclear what Barcelona's crypto would be used for, whether as a fan token. similar to those offered by socios or as a means of payment for tickets and merchandise he further said that the players know what we are working on and that this is a modern club that makes use of new media there are clauses in their contract related to the nft world and the metaverse let's wait and watch how far it goes so moving forward with our next coverage not surprising but it is a follow up on russia ukraine situation yesterday the european union announced that within 10 days It intends to remove seven Russian banks from the Society of Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication, also known as SWIFT. Let's have a look at what exactly happened. VTB Bank, Russia's second largest bank, is among the sanctioned banks, along with Bank Otkriti, Novikom Bank, Promsvyaz Bank, Bank Rosia, Sovokom Bank, and VEB. Russian banks and by extension the Russian economy are likely to suffer catastrophic losses if they do not have access to SWIFT a Belgian messaging system that connects to over 11000 financial institutions worldwide for example after being blocked from SWIFT in 2012 Iran lost 30% of its overseas commerce and that really is scary data for a country like Russia sanctions on the other hand have a more destructive effect on a nation's population when seen in perspective although no one knows for sure estimations put russia president vladimir putin net worth at billions of dollars implying that he may continue to live a very opulent lifestyle even if the great bulk of his net worth is decreased as a result of the punitive measures the russian people on the other hand cannot be considered to be in the same boat The Russian currency has lost about 30% of its value since invasion of Ukraine began last week according to Existatix. The economic consequences are alleged to have wiped out ordinary Russian saving. To make matter worse, the European Union has barred Russia from receiving euro banknotes. We wonder what the crypto holders out there might be thinking since there's no ban imposed yet on crypto holdings by Russians by MNCs. Will crypto prove itself to be a game changer this time too? Well, speaking of game changer, Ethereum's proof of stake consensus mechanism according to MIT is a game changer that will encourage the use of energy saving technology. Let's have a look at what made them say this. Proof of stake gives a mechanism to put up such a network without using so much energy. According to the release, Ethereum, which operates a variety of apps in addition to being the world's second largest cryptocurrency, will switch to it in the first half of 2022. Provided all goes according to the plan the change is expected to reduce energy consumption by 99.95% according to the mit ethereum's pos structure might help to change the perception of cryptocurrencies that they use a lot of power last year bitcoin consumed more energy than finland even while other networks like solana cardano and algorand are already adopting pos blockchains mid said that ethereum's transformation will become the center stage of activating energy efficient technology 
with the merge expected for the second quarter of this year. The following is taken from the report. With proof of stake, validators don't have to compete against one another, wasting a lot of time and money. Instead, they can enter a lottery with their Bitcoin cash sheet or stake. Those who are picked will be given the power to verify a set of transactions. COVID variant monitoring, a long-lasting grid battery, artificial intelligence for protein folding, and a malaria vaccine were amongst the top 10 breakthrough technologies according to the MIT review. Wrapping up with our final coverage for today, the much-awaited news for meme coin lover. American entertainments and cinema brand AMC Theatres have integrated Dogecoin and Shiba Inu as payment options for its services. Let's have a look at what exactly happened. According to the company's chief executive officer, Adam Aaron, the integration on the company's website might happen as soon as March 19th, but the update on mobile apps will not be available until after April 16th. This may pique the interest of cryptocurrency enthusiasts among you. BitPay will be available for AMC online payments on our website by March 19th and on our mobile applications by April 16th, according to AMC IT. Perhaps a couple of days before, BitPay and hence AMC will soon take Dogecoin and Shiba Inu, states the Twitter statement. AMC's foray into the Bitcoin environment has paid so far. With the business announcing in October that it has begun taking cryptocurrencies as payment for electronic gift cards, in addition, towards the end of last year, AMC Entertainment began taking Bitcoin payments, paving the way for the integration of Shiba Inu and Dogecoin at this time. So we'll round off our analysis for today and see you all tomorrow with even more exciting content. In the meantime, you can leave us comments with any recommendations or opinion that you might have. And you can also join our Telegram channel for free crypto alerts. For instructions, reviews and tutorials, you may visit our blog, which is linked right below. Also, subscribe to our channel to receive daily crypto market updates. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day ahead.